Masters. And so, uh, so it's great to be back with you folks. And yes, the new crew, uh, our, our crew mates are doing very well. They had a great time. Uh, busy, busy back at work. Excellent. Well, I wish you guys uh, Godspeed and safe journeys, and I'm looking forward to talking with you again. I'm going to try and arrange a CUSO with my son's high school in the future, so they're excited about that. Seventy-three to you. November seven, Golf Juliet Hotel. We've got you loud and clear aboard the space station. November Alpha One, Sierra Sierra. And A1, KA zero TP. KA zero TP. We've got you loud and clear aboard the space station. November Alpha One, Sierra Sierra. see the pass right here this is the radio footprint and we're just on the outside edge of the pass right now there I am in the Pacific Northwest and it is right now 1637 UTC hey Tom I won't bother you at work but um, I heard you on the air with um, International Space Station I actually caught it on video and if it's okay with you, I'm going to put it up on my YouTube channel. Just thought I would share that with you. Oh, no problem. Um, I'm at work, and my computer is not near my uh, rig. It's a little tough to get a recording here. <laughs> I'm thinking doing the same thing. Uh, my call, KA0TP at AOL. Uh, if you want to send me a link, I'd appreciate it. Will do, Tom. And um, again, I just want to thank you the other day for that uh, very helpful talk on antennas. And it was good to hear your voice uh, trying to contact the space station. Got you loud and clear on that. I'm still a newbie, and every time I talk with them, it's exciting for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I don't want to be greedy. You know, I'm trying to leave space for others, too, so I don't... i got to wait a little bit, see how busy he is before I jump in there. <laughs> and keep it short. Um, yeah, I try to keep it short when I'm jacking out, just because there are so many others trying to work them. And I need to take your cue on that as well. I just actually learned to listen on the uplink. I, I, I'm brand new and didn't, didn't realize that that would be um, obviously a good operating practice. So I'm trying to do that and not, uh, not key up on anybody. K7 R P T. Well, you know, it's a little tough to do because uh, listening on uplink will only get you what's within simplex range. Um, and since he's covering. He's covering about a hundred times our simplex range. <laughs> uh, from up there, advantage of altitude there. So you can only hear the locals uh, on their backside there. 
Yeah, very true, uh, Tom. Thanks. Uh, any advice for me? I, I certainly don't want to be greedy and don't want to uh, key up and, and mess up any contacts for people. You're getting on video and you're publishing it. And that is one of the neater things. Uh, ISS contacts are one of the neater things to encourage new hams. Um, I spread the word uh, otherwise, but you're getting the recording to back it up and spreading it to others. Uh, keep it up. Yeah, will do. And, and as always, I appreciate your guidance and advice. And um, I'm going to be getting this video up. And I, I just, it was exciting for me to hear your voice and know who that was. So I will send you a link. Speak to me too, if you would. AC1AC at Comcast. Alpha 40, Alpha Fact. I'll put a link on my Facebook and forward it. I'll forward along there. That'll work. Hey, what's up with this buzz on the repeater? Uh, repeater needs a little work. Okay, we'll step on toes. Y'all go ahead. KF7 ETX, uh, go ahead, KF7 ETX. You all, thanks, Tom. I just want to, uh, I'll let you go to work, but uh, I just want to again thank you so much for your help. And um, I'll send you a link as soon as I get that video up. That I am. I'll, I'll certainly keep an eye out for you. I'm, I'm hoping to, uh, if I have my studying down, uh, take my general test when I'm down there for that. Well, I didn't think they were doing testing down there. Uh, I didn't hear you mention that. Well, I'm supposed to have a table here. We'll see. Um, I put it in kind of late, but I should have a table. So uh, we'll look for me in there. And I got to run. Keys are all TV clerk. 73 to you, Tom, and I'll keep an eye out for you. Hope they do have testing. KF7 ETX. KF7 ETX, AC1 AC. KF7 ETX. Yeah, I'm just curious. Uh, I've never heard of anybody doing video of a, of a ham conversation. How did you accomplish that? Well, actually, it's kind of boring to watch. I just have a video camera pointing at myself in my uh, radio while I make that contact and then I splice in some computer images uh, from the track. Oh, okay, so you're sitting there in the image while Tom is making his contact and that's what you've actually got videoed and have a soundtrack with it. Yeah, correct. If you go to YouTube and type in in the search bar uh, USNER doc doc um, you'll see those videos. Anyway, yeah, I uh, just want to touch bases and see how you managed to pull that off. It's interesting the way you did that. Uh, yeah. uh, like I said, I've never heard of anybody using their mind in their video at the same time to do ham, you know, video a ham conversation. But uh, yeah, keep up the good work. And if you want to, if you want to upgrade to general, we have our VE session. I'm a VE with Tom. Uh, first Sunday of every month over at the Round Table, 82nd and King Road. So come on by there any first Sunday and uh, take your test with us. You don't have to wait for a rick for y'all. I will keep that in mind. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, as soon as I get my studying done and I'm ready for the test, if it's not at rick all, I'll certainly uh, look you up. Uh, thank you very much. 73. Okay, guys. Well, that was a quick uh, contact with the uh, space station. Actually, for where my location is, it was a very low angle pass at the maximum elevation off the horizon, 11 degrees. But we actually got them uh, pretty good. And while I couldn't talk with him at the end of the pass, I uh, certainly were able to hear him for quite a distance until the tail end of the footprint was off the uh, Pacific Northwest. A couple of technical issues, as always.
or, um, I forgot to turn my microphone on, so I missed the very first part of it, which is okay. Um, I also had a great conversation with a couple of local hams, and um, I'll share that as well, mainly because that's part of the fun of amateur radio is talking with people both local and distant from around the world. Great way to make friends, great way to get a, a perspective of the fact that our world is much bigger than the little sphere that we live in every day. So I will put those guys up on the tail end of this video and uh, again thanks for stopping by. This is David, KF7ETX in Portland, Oregon. USN ER Doc, out. <laughs>